work. It's gonna work, it's gonna be great. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Austin, that's Lacey. That's the cooler. This is part two of how we kind of wrap it up with the AC unit and the cool box and a little bit of insulation. Let's do this. This is the spray foam insulation. We chose to go with this because it fills all of the cracks and gaps and gets everywhere. And the foam board, you got a tape and silicone and use this scrap anyways in the corners. So we just went with this route. Pretty much two cans to do this whole room, those do-it-yourself kits. It was pretty much the same as buying all the panels to fill this room up. And I'm going to show you the picture of us spray foaming because it looks like a five-year-old with a, a spray gun. And we'll see how it works. So we got the AC installed. And to do that, there's, on this one there's four screws. Had one here, one on the other side. And on the inside, I think it's hidden by the wood. It's dark in here. No, maybe not. There's one right there, one on the other side. You take those apart, pull the main guts of this thing out. Because it comes out. And that'll give you the frame. You put the frame, attach it to your wood here. And then you just install this back, like such. Then put your screws back in. And you're good. Okay, just took out the cool bot Pro. And it comes with the controller. You got two little temperature sensors. One's gonna go into the cooler or the fans. And the other one's gonna go into just the room temperature. See, this little layout here shows you everything. So, you got room sensor, which is one of those blue temperature gauges. You got the other one, it goes over. Where's it go? To the center of these little fans here. So, it's pretty stupid proof. I'm gonna set it up like that and start cooling them down our walk-in cooler. Okay, there's the cool bot mounted. That's literally step one, plugging all the wires into where they're supposed to go, which is labeled. You got the room temperature sensor. You got the fin sensor for temperature. You got the heater, which is gonna tie on to that temperature to confuse it, to make it run longer at 60 degrees and shut off. Then you got power, and then I got it mounted. When you mount those things, the wire's only so long, so don't go trying to mount it halfway across your room. Okay, we got it all put back together. This unit, the display is on the actual front of this little shield here, so I have to have this on here to use the digital controller. Most of them are built into the actual frame, so you can actually leave this whole piece off. But I can't, but they left a little gap over here for the wires to come through, which was pretty sweet of them. Next step, just turn your AC on, set it for 60, and then have your fan speed high, so that one's three. We'll put it on cool. Next, what you do, plug her in. See, I set my thermostat up high in the room because the heat rises, so you stick it low at the bottom of the ground. You could lose maybe two or three, maybe five degrees. Not a huge deal, but I'd rather be colder than hotter when you're hanging meat. That's what we plan on using this for. So now you set your temperature. Stay at 40. Okay. And let's shut the door and see what she does. You see the little 
light on the heater is blinking. It's showing that the heater is actually heating up the thermostat, showing it colder, or actually warmer when in here. So it should blow colder longer until you can reach the desired 40 degrees. And it also said, I may have to move it in a minute, that the heater is plugged in to the AC thermostat shouldn't be in front of the AC unit, so I may have to move that, but we'll, we're going to see, try her out, see what happens. The instruction says you got to remove the filter. You want that thing to be able to breathe. And I also took off the little bit so it just blows straight, straight out the front. I still got to do some sealing around the AC. I just want to put this in to play with it, honestly. We start up 62. So, 10 minutes and we've got this 8x8 walking cooler down to 42, drop 20 degrees in like 10 minutes. It's awesome. Yeah, we got a temperature gun, 40 degrees up here on the, the roof. So, it's right in front of the blow of the AC unit. That ain't really true fair. Still don't like the way the AC or the insulation looks. Looks like uh, looks like it did it the first time. Looks bad. But put some panels on the wall and you'll never know when I suck it. Spray foam insulation. Alright, the AC just shut off, so that means it has reached the desired temperature and it took about 15 minutes. So pretty satisfied. May in the future have to add a little drip line if this thing starts leaking moisture onto the floor. Add a little garden hose. Stick it out that wall so all the drip goes outside and sit on my floor. Pretty basic stuff. All right, so that's it. We are pretty much done with our walk-in cooler. <sighs> So we are still negotiating on a rail system. We don't really know what we're gonna do. Well, we Weighing do know. Our options. We do know, but we really don't know. So leave some comments on some ideas about a rail system. Give me your opinion so I can sit and waller about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what dog? Thanks for watching. I hope you like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. When we butcher the pigs. See you later. We should do outtakes, just crap. Just <laughs> what we gotta get through to make one video. Thanks for watching our video. And then <laughs> let's go eat. <laughs>